you can buy. So today we're going to look at uh, the PM Foundations 3080 VCO. This is a full featured VCO. It doesn't take up very much room. You can buy it as a kit. You can buy it built. You can buy a PCB or just a panel. Again, it's from PM Foundations. Uh, the link will be uh, in the text. Now this particular VCO can be built in two ways. It can be built with a, a CA3080 or it can be built with an LM13700. This one is built with the uh, with the 3080. So what we're listening to now is uh, uh, Division 6 business card sequencer controlling the VCA and this is the sine wave. So the great thing about this VCO, uh, for me anyways, it's, a, it's a, an easy kit to build and it's uh, really inexpensive and it's actually a really nice sounding VCO. I'm quite happy with it. There, um, there's a pulse width modulation with an attenuator. Uh, there's a exponential linear FM, same thing. Pulse width is here in the center. Um, and coarse and fine tuning. You have uh, outputs for sine, triangle, and square. We'll listen to those. Uh, the one thing I probably did wrong is um, because the panel itself is uh, actually a purple PCB, which I'm trying to say without getting pops on the mic, um, I wanted to match with the L, uh, LED and used an ultraviolet, a UV LED. But the camera, as you can probably notice that, the camera doesn't like it very much. Sorry about that. So it's pretty bright doesn't actually uh, look that bright so I built this one and um, that was my fault I take full responsibility so there's the sign uh, let's listen to the triangle uh, you can actually see scope shots on the PM foundation site so I'm not going to bother with the, the standard scope shots probably not worth the hassle there's the triangle So we'll just do the width manually. Can you listen? Got a fair bit of zip. Now I want to show you that it's very wide ranging. So let's crank this down. The, the light will start to blink. You can see how low it goes, how high it goes. So we can easily go down to low, F, uh, low frequency. Turn that up a little. That's all the way down. The knobs, by the way, are mine. They're not actually knobs are just little silicone caps for now. Uh, I need to find some knobs that I like for it still. Um, so what's next? Let's do the pulse width modulation next. I'm using a Z3000 as, a, as an LFO for now. Pretty classic. There's no uh, no filter going straight to straight to my mixer. Um, there's a little bit of uh, reverb and a little bit of echo, not very much. Uh, that's just kind of on the board. I have it all the time. So that gives you an idea of the pulse width modulation. It can be pretty heavy. that classic movie style bass. Okay, so I'm still going to use the Z3000, probably go up into audio range, and we'll check out the um, FM. So we'll do linear first. Yeah, it's going a little bit nuts, but let's crank that up a little.
nice for adding just a little bit of grit. So that's straight. A little bit of grit. Turn that up a little. Back into audio. Okay, FM's, exponential FM's always a little bit more fun. Uh, what you hear there is uh, adjusting the frequency of the modulation of the oscillator, so is that 3000. Uh, and that's with the ex exponential FM all the way up. Again, you get all kinds of little weirdness going on. Or you can just add a little bit of dirt. So there's, uh, that's basically uh, the 3080 VCO from PM Foundations. The only other thing that I just wanted to do quickly um, was the sine wave. So besides the fact that, uh, oh, let's turn that down. Besides the fact that you can use this as an LFO uh, if you want, and you can, the cool thing is you can use it as an LFO with pulse width modulation with the three different waveforms and with uh, exponential linear FM. So you can get all kinds of weird things happening as an LFO as well. But I'm going to run the, um, the sine wave into a, uh, into a wave folder. So I'm actually going to use a uh, nonlinear circuits timbre. And let's uh, turn the fold all the way down. Hopefully we could hear that. So there's the sine wave. Now we play with the fold. And we can also have some modulation, in this case a sample and hold running in to the CV on the folder. So just to show you that you can do cool things in uh, audio with a sine wave as well. well that's basically it. So it'll be uh, so the link is uh, is in the description, the video description, and uh, that's the PM Foundations 3080 VCO. Thanks for listening.